Hello everybody, welcome back. This is gonna be a uh, part six, I think, on the series, and uh, this is what it's uh, gonna be. I used, I did the first uh, video about testing uh, the machine with this being way too powerful. So at this point, I have found something that is one quarter one quarter which makes it 500 where is it here you see now on this specific motor on this specific motor I had a, a 1.5 amp uh, uh, power supply but I dropped it in and it doesn't work anymore but it was perfect 1.5 being 2.0 okay 2 amps it's too powerful and the new power supply well the other power supply I have it's 2.5 which this doesn't it just skips so we're gonna take this out of the way okay and I'm gonna demonstrate it with okay guys you have to understand it's all relevant to your uh, to this okay I've already said it this one is 500 right now I I plug the voltmeter on it while I was running on it and I realized a lot of uh, things okay which was expected so I'll explain while I demonstrate in the meanwhile I also have perfected my uh, my white clip uh, the, for an artist as I am an artist by default you need a 3d pen guys this is 3d printed manually not with a machine not with a printer but with a pen all right this is it this a spring this is a uh, needles you know and they're connected with the wires so one goes this way, the other goes that way, and we have our clip cord. Why clip cord? All right. So I'm gonna plug it to the tattoo machine. By the way, I ha all the tattoos I have given myself, and uh, because I have now a, a brand new one that I did with this, and also with this, which was taking a chance. I was uh, like I was working on five volts. Okay, by the way, this being 2000 uh, uh, MA, mega amps, or milliamps, I don't know, the, it's 2 amps, okay, uh, it's being too strong for it, but the voltage saying here is the voltage coming out when I uh, voltmetered it, so I was doing 3, and then I was switching it to 5, okay, with this one being one quarter of its capacity all right i'm just gonna plug it in being the quarter of its capacity it will give me different numbers it's never what it says on all right so now i'm at three it barely moves because the elastic is too close Let's take the elastic out. Okay, three, it's not powerful enough because it's only 1.7. Like, I have the chart, okay? I have three different machines. I have the white, the blue, and the purple. And on this, I have the chart here. At three volts, it gives me 1.7. It barely moves it. 
my twin. Oh, I'm twin. That's why. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. No wonder it wouldn't move. Sorry about this. Yeah, I was way too in. You see the difference? I was like, the cartridge was, uh, sorry, the tube was way too pushed up. I didn't realize. So, this is 3 volts, which in reality, it says 3, but it gives me this. So, this is my chart with this purple. Alright? Okay? With elastic, with no elastic. Elastic, obviously, I'm trying to make the the needle less vibrate, vibrate less. But it also holds back the motor. So this is the readings on it. Okay, and on the same motor, three different machines, this is what it is. And the white, the machine, it's uh, on an on off uh, switch on an individual cord he doesn't take a pedal it just plug and on off so it's with the cord the readings meaning the because it's it's a possibility to directly uh, clip it the way it clips here it's the same motor you know so uh, it's all this All right, I'm just gonna demonstrate now. And then I'm gonna put the coil machine on. Okay, I have a coil machine here, which you might have checked before. So this is at three with elastic. But it says three, but it's at 1.7. Me, what I work at is coming up. It's not this one yet. So now I'm switching to 4.5. You see the difference? Like if I did it with this power supply, like I wouldn't be able to do this at four point at five volts on this one. And all that because it's too powerful. I, no, I would be, but I have to be starting at three and then switching it. Like I have to start at three. And then switch it. I could go all the way to 12. 12 is too powerful for the motor. It's way too much. But till 9 I could have went. But the motor was like. Eee! And it would do a lot of damage. So I was working on 5 volts. S sincerely. Literally on 5 volts. And uh, I did all my tattoos on that. Uh, sorry. Not all my tattoos on that. Uh, but I also uh, will eventually. Now I have one that's healing. So it's starting to peel. So it doesn't look good. But uh, you will see it. All right. So let's go on. This is at uh, 4.5. All right. All with elastic. Imagine if I take the elastic out. When I take the elastic out, it, it still holds. It doesn't matter. Like you don't need the elastic. I just put the elastic just for for the reverb and everything. All right, so this is at 4.5. Now I got at 6. So this is what I work at. Okay, at 6 on this machine with an elastic, it works at 3.9. Okay. Okay. It's all relevant to the motor you have. Me, I happen to have this one. It fits perfect. It balances like a, like a coil machine. It's the same shape as a coil machine. Uh, I wish the motor was like this. Literally. But it's not the case. It depends what motor you have. It depends what uh, wall unit, AC adapter you have. So, um, and now I'm going to 
put it to 7.5 and trust me this motor I had just pressed it and left it on for like five minutes and it was just running and never got hot uh, what can I say uh, this is a house made device you know so that was 7.5 7.5 works me at with elastic 5 volts like seriously me I work at 3.9 on this specific motor having been a smaller motor it would take maybe 9 volt like or you know so it's all relevant to your power supply to the wall unit to your motor and to your uh, open mind guys it's all about open mind so there i was at uh, 7.5 which gave me 5 volts i wouldn't work on anything more than that because it would it would damage the the skin don't forget this doesn't give okay there's no give this is just a machine just that just turns all right there's no give like a coil machine that would be forgiveness so now at nine there's no way i'm working on that uh, on that and 12 is available well at nine nine gives me 5.8 with an elastic so figure that out and uh, 12 volts give me 6.7 all right all that on a 500 a 0.5 amp like 0.5 amp wall unit AC adapter 3 to 12 volt being this specific one well actually uh, let me just uh, show you the the coil coil I'm not gonna put the needle in so this is the improvement on the previous video I improved my uh, I took everything apart and I did this all right so this is what it is and if it's better obviously on the on the other thing on the it's made for my other motors because sorry let me do it on the camera because I took it out as I was saying if it's better on my motors not on the coil but look I could uh, I could just cut it a bit if I want but all right now I'm on a coil it needs more power obviously now I'm at 9 volts uh, on a coil I haven't uh, tested what uh, the voltage uh, out outage should be I don't know and I don't care because I'm not gonna use this machine anymore hmm. That's maybe the problem. No, oh, there we go. Where is it? Ah, it's the pedal. No. There we go. But this machine works better. It's better to work with this, and my power supply is a 2.5 amp, which is bigger than this. So, like the cheap, the cheap uh, kit uh, power supplies would be perfect for this. This would be perfect on it, like because I know it. The only thing is that I drop mine, and it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> So that was the reason I had to find a plan B for it. You understand what I mean? Because the one I bought it was too much. So we don't care about the coil. 
I demonstrated it on uh that's weird though. Oh no, it was uh okay, hold on. Hold on. It was on the lower voltage. Let me see. But we don't care about the coil, huh? Ah, it's here, my problem. It's like a contact problem. Doesn't make it. There we go. So it's here, my problem. So these are 12 volts. 9. Because of the angle, the way it's uh, curved. But if it's snug, I don't get it. Ah, there we go. Now it's in. It wasn't in. It clicked. Still, it's not powerful enough. It's 0.5. It makes sense. You know, if I put this on, my hand would be would say, "Hey, stop, buddy." All right. So thanks for watching, and I hope you understand. I hope it was uh, uh, it was educational. I hope. And uh, now, uh, if you put a voltometer on a supply that gives you one amp, it would be different readings. Okay, if it's one point five, it would be different readings. All right. So that's how it goes. I have to find a 1 amp and a 1.5 amp uh, uh, supply and that would uh, make my thing, it would just complete it, but anyways I'm just gonna buy the nice, uh, the nice rotary pens, uh, like a pen, you know, a nice one though, because my art has improved a lot, so that's how it goes. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.